Hello, my name is Dr. Viren Naik, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as the CEO of the Medical Council of Canada. The Medical Council of Canada is an important part of the system of regulation and licensure, and by looking at how we can serve that system of regulation and licensure, we can better serve patients in Canada. Going forward, our mission is to be the trusted keeper of physician credentials and assessor of a physician's general competencies to inform safe licensure decisions in Canada. Our new vision is to ensure that physicians have the competencies to support safe, accessible healthcare in Canada. The new mission and vision of the Medical Council of Canada really strives to be candidate focused. We want to put the candidate at the center of all of our strategy and all of our decision making. The Medical Council of Canada's strategic plan was developed in collaboration between its executive team and its council. Our council is representative of the regulatory authorities, public members, and from educators. And in having all of those different partners and parties of interest, we bring all the voices and needs of the system of regulation, licensure, and patient needs in informing our strategic plan and objectives. Now is the right time because the system has needs, and now we have a new strategic plan that can guide us and give us the focus we need to bring that service to Canadians. All good strategic plans are built on a foundation of solid values. Our values are integrity, inclusion and belonging, transparency, collaboration, and innovation. Ultimately, our strategic plan speaks to our service to the system of regulation and licensure. We will serve physician licensure decisions through excellence in programs of assessment. The objective that focuses on assessment is critical for patient safety. The reality is that our candidates have trained from all over the world. By administering objective assessments, whether it be through examinations or workplace-based assessment, we can provide that objective lens that the physician has obtained those core competencies, those general competencies to serve patients in Canada. And it's important to recognize that those competencies go beyond just medical knowledge and medical expertise. Those of collaboration, communication, health advocacy, and professionalism are all competencies that we expect of our doctors and that we expect for safe patient care. We will assist international medical graduates as they navigate to practicing as physicians or in other medical roles in Canada. Medical Council of Canada stands ready to help the IMG, the International Medical Graduate, navigate this complex system. We want to help them be successful. We're also going to work hard to expedite the validation of their credentials from all over the world so that we can be sure that they have the appropriate credentials to practice here in Canada. We will enable health human resource planning with others by managing physician practice data in our registries. The Medical Council of Canada supports the National Registry of Physicians. Working with our partnering provincial and territorial medical regulatory authorities will work to house and keep the physician credentials which are essential for safe licensure decisions. We also hope that this platform will help enable multi-jurisdictional recognition and in doing so answer the calls for physician mobility across Canada. We are also committed to the confidentiality and privacy of all the data that we keep. We will strengthen our position and collaboration within the system through strategic alliances and enhanced government relations. The Medical Council of Canada is a national organization and we want to work to bring together the different needs, the different complexities from the different jurisdictions. We will ensure stability and growth through responsible stewardship of our financial, technological and human resources. We will continue to focus on the learning and growth of our staff. We will renew our technological platforms that our candidates and regulatory authorities rely upon and ensure that we have the financial stability for the growth of the future. We will hold ourselves accountable to this strategic plan and these strategic objectives by holding true to one of our core values, transparency. We have developed action plans that follow on from each strategic objective and underneath each of these action plans we've developed key performance indicators. Performance indicators that will be transparent to all of our staff, all of our parties of interest, and all of our partners. This strategic plan is evergreen. We will revisit it annually, if not more. We are in an ever-changing environment, and if the environment changes such that we need to adapt, pivot, and react 
to the environment we are in, we will. If there's one thing that I'd like you to remember about our new strategic plan is that we're here to serve. We're here to serve patients in Canada. And the way we're going to serve patients in Canada is by serving our system of regulation and licensure and helping to inform it to make safe licensure decisions. At the end of the day, we are here to serve, and our strategic plan should do the same.